The fish farming industry, also known as aquaculture or pisciculture, uh, it's snowballed in recent decades to meet the rising demand for seafood. And this is what today's post is about. So I'll see you after the intro. Hi, it's V here, the healthy vegan author and creator of the Gold Card Vegan resource website. Now, global production through fish farming industry has quadrupled over the past 50 years and the pressure is on wild fish. This has caused a rise in fish farms. These farms are located in seawater, freshwater, or even in specialty indoor tanks. Now, while fish farming promises a solution to the overfishing of wild fish stocks, the reality is so much grimmer. Fish, we know, are sentient beings. And uh, according to, let's have a look, and according to Cullen Brown, um, a professor at the Macquarie University in Sydney, Australia, fish are seldom afforded the same level of compassion or welfare as warm blooded vertebrae. Part of the problem is the large gap between people's perception of fish, intelligence, and the scientific reality. We think of fish swimming in large schools and don't consider they have the abilities and um, capable of perceiving and experiencing sensations. Fish actually do exhibit mental complexity comparable to other vertebrae and there is increasing evidence to suggest that they experience pain similar to humans. Industrial fish farms are causing immense suffering to the fish trapped within them. Typically thousands of fish are crowded into small pens or enclosures. They have no room to swim freely or express natural behaviours. The high stocking density stresses the fish and can lead to injuries from aggression and fin biting. Diseased and injured fish are typically left to suffer and like many other factory farming scenarios, there's no veterinary care. The crowded and unsanitary conditions in fish farms make disease outbreaks rampant. A fish infected with a contagious virus can quickly spread to other fish within the farm. Fish are also prone to parasite infestations, with farmed salmon particularly vulnerable to sea lice outbreaks. According to a Time magazine article, an anemia uh, anemia, I think it is, anemia um, outbreak in Maine, um, in a Maine aquaculture facility in the year 2000, that resulted in the death of two and a half million fish. So, to control these outbreaks, fish are given antibiotics and pesticides at massively high levels. And many of these chemicals accumulate not only in the fish, but also in their environment. They can leach into the surrounding soil and water. The waste from fish farms can impact not only the immediate area, but also the larger coastal zone at various levels of the ecosystem. This can reduce the amount, density and variety of marine life and alter natural food webs. Now, there is no such thing as inhumane or as, as humane slaughter. And in the fish farming, um, like all farmed animals, large numbers of fish reared for food are ultimately killed. The reality of humane fish farming is a myth. Now, while some fish farm farming operations claim to be humane, 
or sustainable, the reality is that confining and killing fish on an industrial scale cannot be done without causing them harm and suffering. Unfortunately, traditional methods of killing fish are certainly not humane. Farm fish are still commonly killed by asphyxiation, suffocation by taking them out of the water, in other words. Sort of the opposite of a human drowning. Carbon dioxide exposure is another one. Very low temperatures or bleeding without stunning some even a, and some are even bludgeoned to death. There are no mandatory measures to ensure a humane, <laughs> say that word loosely, or painless death for the farmed fish. These procedures take several minutes to induce insensibility and certainly cannot be considered humane. There are now more updated methods for stunning fish which involve using electricity or percussion. For example, some systems use electrified water to stun fish as they pass through, while others use automated flow-through systems to keep fish in the water until they are stunned. These techniques eliminate the need for handling fish before slaughter and ensure they are adequately stunned before they are bled out. However, these methods still need to become the norm, and honestly, they're really not that fantastic. Many believe that switching to a pescatarian diet is a much more effective way to help the animals stop climate change and is a healthy alternative. Sadly, they do not see that this is absolutely having the opposite effect in all three areas. The only true, truly humane and sustainable option is shifting to a plant-based diet that avoids consuming fish and other animals. The modern fish farming industry shows that industrialized animal exploitation comes at too high a cost both for the animals and the environment. We must transition to a move or to, to move towards a much more compassionate and sustainable food system that does not rely on causing harm and suffering, nor polluting the sea, because that's what these fish farms do. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please um, comment, um, tell me what you think, uh, like and subscribe, ringing the little bell too. Mm -hmm. Remember, have great food, make it plant-based and be compassionate to all animals, including humans. Oh, and make it sure that fish are off your menu. Bye for now.